Hi Taurus, it's time for our daily get together. It's Monday today, March 18th, 2024. Let's look at your tarot cards and see what messages come out for you today, Taurus. Taurus. All right, so the first card you have is the Knight of Pentacles. And then here you are, the Hierophant. This is Taurus energy. You have someone coming towards you, Taurus. This person has a lot of yellow behind them. They, they have the sun behind them. But for some reason, they're a little bit intimidated by you. And as you can see, this horse, it was, it, it got here. It got to this position, but then it stopped. Why did it stop? Because you're showing up in your own energy here. So powerful is the Hierophant. That looks intimidating to me for this, to this person. If I were the person on the horse, I'd be intimidated. And then you have the Five of Swords. We're going to go back and clarify the cards and see what's going on here. You have Judgment. I can tell you right now, whoever's on this horse, whoever this Knight of Pentacles is with Judgment showing up underneath it. Um, actually, I'm not going to speak too soon here hold on the center of your reading you have the nine of swords underneath you there's something here that you're worried about you have the king of pentacles i'm seeing you making some type of decision here that you're going to be worried about after you make the decision and then you have the two of wands Ten of Wands. The Three of Swords. You guys really need to be careful about a decision that you make. On the bottom of the deck, you have Temperance, Sagittarius Energy, and then you have the Page of Swords. All right, so this is what I thought it was. Um, and I, I made myself shut up just in case I was wrong, you know, because I didn't want to misspeak here. But there's someone here that's coming towards you. Whoever this person is, they want a commitment with you. They want to have it all with you. But for some reason... Something's going to happen, and I may be off on the timeline here. Like, this could have already happened for some of you. But I'm seeing an, an argument breaking out here for some reason. And we're going to clarify. Tell me about this Knight of Pentacles. You have the Empress. See, you're, you're an intimidating person to, to deal with. The Seven of Cups. And you have the Ten of Swords. Could be dealing with a Virgo. The Hermit is on the bottom of the deck. This person moving towards you. This person's in Hermit mode. This person's been quiet. And this person... Is someone that you do have history with, okay? There's been a very en painful ending that has taken place between the two of you. Um, and it kind of looks like right now... Oh man, I hate to say it. I see them coming in looking so good. But the, you know what? Whoever this person is, there's been a very painful ending here. 
And this person, I feel like this person does have other options, other choices, but this person only sees you as their option. All right? It's like once they've had you, how can they settle for anything less? I mean, you're showing up here twice in your own powerful energy. Male or female is an empress and the hierophant here. This person's not, out of all the options, all the choices that they could choose from, they do not see you. They do not see this person walking around anywhere. Tell me why the Hierophant is here. And this is someone that has spent some time alone. All right. They've had time to reflect. They've had time to work on themselves. You have the Five of Pentacles. This is someone that you have no communication with. Could be a Cancer. The Chariot is here. Um, this person feels like they don't have it all together in order to approach you. This is someone that you could have been married to or shared a home with. The Four of Wands is in reverse. This is someone who doesn't have money. Someone who's broke. Someone who's... I feel like I've gotten this for you guys recently. This person's really, really down on their luck and they're very intimidated to approach you, to talk to you. Why is the Five of Swords here? This person, they may be at a distance from you with the Three of Wands. Okay, it could be Capricorn. We have the Devil showing up here. This is someone that... Um... You could have walked away from this person, Taurus, because you you felt like they weren't treating you right, that they were very, being very cold, very mean, could have been, you know, just very distant. This person changed. You could have thrown your swords down on the ground and walked away from this person. Even though it was difficult to walk away from this person because there was codependent, there's codependent energy here. The two of you depended on each other. Okay, you did you did it anyway, and when you did this, this person could have walked away. And these are very specific messages, and so take the ones that resonate with you, leave the rest of it out. But um. That's what I see. If I were to read this very specifically, I feel like you could have walked away from this person. They weren't valuing you. You know, they they could have been putting you down. They said some things they can't take back. And the next card we have is judgment. So this is them wanting to come back into your life. And... I know I'm going to get comments. There's no way this person's coming back into my life. Yeah, um, I'm not saying they are going to because we all have free will. And I wouldn't want you to go back with someone where you felt like this. You felt like an outsider. You felt like the wounded warrior. I don't want you to go back to that. And the Ten of Pentacles within this marriage... That was supposed to be your Ten of Pentacles. This person, they gave up. When you walked walked away, you could have been shocked that this person just blocked communication and moved on with their life. Because you had, you know, it feels like you had a lot with this person. You have the King of Cups and you have the Moon. Pisces Cancer Energy. This person's reflecting 
back on how they screwed up and how they can't fix it. And this is someone, they can't fix this ending. Could be a Scorpio, the death card is here. It's someone that you know with the Six of Cups. Why is the Nine of Swords here? Yeah, see exactly what I what I was feeling like. Um, no way, covering your face. No way. Um, they keep thinking about you. They keep thinking about the way things ended, and this is actually someone taking action. All right, someone on this horse acting spontaneously moving towards you a messenger tell me why the king of pentacles is here like a sudden decision tell me why the king of pentacles is here this is someone that you may have um moved on from I mean, I feel like you've already moved on from this person. See? The king of pentacles, which is Taurus energy, regardless of your gender. You know, you're looking pretty stable here. You got to work. You moved on. And here they come. The night again. Tell me why I want to check the energy of both of these nights. Spirits just gave me two. Someone may drink a lot, and I feel like this person feels a lot of regret, Taurus. Why is the two of wands here? The star, Aquarius energy, and the tower. You've healed over this tower. You've moved on. But for some reason, you're still showing me an energy here of... It's like there's unfinished business or something here that kind of leaves you a bit stuck. When you receive messages from this person... This is an emperor. The empress and the emperor here. Aries energy with the emperor. This is more than likely this is a marriage. It's a strong um, couple. Two people that are meant to be together. But for some reason or another. Um, someone here has got someone some addictions. They may drink a lot or something. Something they're not doing right is completely messing with their life. I see you hearing from this person. Tell me why the Ten of Wands is here. This person might have been in jail. person they probably went through some type of legal matter um it's like you've I don't know why you're showing up as if you were it's like right now you're going through some type of struggle or something here with the Ten of Wands. There's some type of a struggle going on. And this ex 
they keep thinking about coming back home again. I have the Ten of Cups here. This is someone that you may have children with. This is someone that broke your heart. Why is the Three of Swords here? I feel like this person met a third party at work or there was there's a third party energy here and this person was juggling and um this would this energy when this person met this third party I don't know why I'm picking up these messages but I am it was it was kind of like Something that was very exciting and brought them a lot of recognition. And I feel like this was someone they were working on something with or they met this person at work. But whoever this person is, they are watching you. It's like they make a move towards you and then they, they get very intimidated and they stop. And... Then as the energy moves forward here, I'm seeing someone here like if they were writing a text message to you, they, would, um, they wouldn't hit send. They would delete it. This, this is the energy that's changing here because they're moving into an energy here where they're, I see them being very spontaneous and hitting send. But they're watching you. Tell me why temperance is here. The Hierophant, again, you. The Ten of Wands, the Nine of Cups, and the Knight of Swords. It's actually kind of your wish fulfillment to hear from this person again. And I feel like that that is your wish fulfillment because um, it's going to provide you with closure. It's going to make you come to an understanding here that you didn't really want this person because you seem to have maybe, you know, made things appear in your mind somehow like this person is greater than what they actually were when you see this person again it's going to be a you know a no <laughs> like you're not gonna wonder about this person anymore and how things could have been would have been you're, you're just going to see them, and I see them, you know, the person they used to be, it's not here, or the way that you used to think of them, it's not there. The attraction is not there. Tell me why the Page of Swords is here. The Lover's Gemini Energy. This person's going to seem weak, in fact. This could have been a Pisces Cancer or a Scorpio, but this person's going to seem weak to you. Could be a Gemini. You have um, the lover's hair. It's like you held on to love for this person. Even though I feel like this is this is someone that did you wrong. But when you see them. When the mystery is lifted, if you were to see them now, and I thought I saw a card that had flipped over. Yeah, it's like when the, when the mystery is gone and you see this person now, there it is, the two of pentacles. They look unsteady. When they, when they first started coming in at the beginning of this reading, this person looked like they were bringing the sun. Like this person looked good. 
They don't look like that anymore. Tell me why the moon is here. It's like they're... The unknown is actually very healing. The star is Aquarius energy. And something about this energy is telling me that you're going to see, you know, like there's going to be a realization here of I'm so happy I didn't stay with this person because this is someone who is going down a bad road. What does Taurus need to know? And you'll be able, it's, it's giving me a healing energy just from looking at them. But I feel like it's something that you need to see so that you can close that chapter once and for all. Um, I honor the divine energy that is money. You have money coming in that you're not expecting a raise or something. I have the power to create change. And you have the power to create change. And this is financially for for you guys because it's showing up next to money. All right. So someone needed to hear that, that message. You have the power to create this change. But I do see if you... Um, continue down the road that you're on right now and some of you already have this energy where um, I'm seeing a lot of fin financial gain and stability coming in from something here that you're doing on your own your energy was the king of pentacles like you could own your own business Let's get your Moonology cards for advice, Taurus. See, look at, look at this, you guys. Prosperity lies ahead. New Moon in Taurus. You have money coming in. And a new start coming, New Moon. And there's something here that's going to make you, it's going to bring in an understanding this person is very very intimidated by you Taurus so I don't know you know their energy shows me as they want to be spontaneous but we all have free will and so the future is not already set in stone but this person wants to come towards you but they're intimidated by you this is someone who has went down a different road than you. And um, if you were to see this person now, it's going to make you understand why the two of you divided and went down two different paths. So focus on this new start that you have coming in and the prosperity that lies ahead. This comes from your work that you're doing. All right, Taurus, I love you guys. Thank you for being here with me. Thank you for your donations to the channel and for taking the time to like and subscribe and share these messages. And thank you for all of the healing energy you send me through the comment section. I love you guys. Take care of you and we'll meet back up here tomorrow, Taurus. Namaste.